Hi, Ben here from Trout and Fly Fishing, back with our next installment on how to choose a fly rod. Today we're gonna to be talking about the second most important factor, which is gonna be rod length. Fly rods come in a very wide variety of lengths, starting at maybe five feet and going all the way up to 18 feet for a super long spay rod. So it can be a little confusing to determine which is the right rod for you, and that's why we're doing this video. If you're an absolute beginner, or if you're just not super, super interested in dialing in that performance, length is actually a very easy thing to determine. Just get a nine foot rod. Nine foot rods are the most common rods made, and they're that way for a reason. Companies put a lot of R&D into these rods, and it's just a great all-around choice for pretty much anything that you're gonna be doing. But if you're looking to really dial that in, this video is gonna help you out. So you're probably wondering why fly rods are made in so many different lengths. And the reality is, by adding length or subtracting it, you're changing a lot of characteristics of the fly rod. And as we start to dive into this topic, I want you to keep in mind that we're gonna talk about these different lengths, all else being equal. And what I mean by that is, if you take a rod, say a Winston Pure nine foot four weight, and add six inches to it to make that a nine foot six inch four weight, we're really gonna be focusing on what that rod will do without changing the design and flex and action of that rod. You can make a 10 foot rod that casts wildly differently from its nine foot counterpart by playing with that action. And rod designers do that all the time. With that said, there are gonna be some basic principles that are gonna to apply to longer and shorter rods. And that's really what we're gonna focus on today. This video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Now, without any further ado, let's talk about the benefits of a longer rod. And first up is gonna be distance. Without going into too much detail, you're gonna have a longer lever and that's gonna help you create more line speed. And more line speed equals more distance. It's simply gonna be easier to cast further with a longer rod. The next benefit of a longer rod is gonna be better line management. So if you've ever been out west and nymphed out of a drift boat with a guide, you've probably heard about mending it. And that's what we're talking about. It is easier to mend and easier to manage that line with a longer rod. You're just able to pick more line off the water easier. You can also make sustained anchor casts, and that's spay casts and roll casts much easier with a longer rod, which makes sense because spay rods are way longer than single hand rods. The final benefit that you might not really think about is that protection for light tippet. Because you've got a longer rod, that flex is more distributed throughout the whole length of the rod, and it's just sort of like a longer spring to absorb that shock. So you might be thinking that long rods are really great and wondering why not everyone fishes a 10 foot rod. And the answer is there are some very specific downsides to a longer rod as well. First and foremost, longer rods are inherently less accurate than shorter rods. There's just more material near the tip of the rod and that's gonna cause more deflection and therefore less accuracy than a shorter rod. Another con that you might not think about is that rods that are not nine feet in length have less R&D than their nine foot counterparts. And that's actually gonna to apply to shorter rods as well, like eight foot six inch and eight foot rods. Companies spend a lot of time dialing in the actions of their nine footers. And if you take any nine foot five weight from a major rod brand, that's probably gonna be their most heavily researched rod. It's probably gonna be one of their best. They spent so much effort and money because that is the best seller. Your 10 foot six weight, probably a lot less. Longer rods are also worse at casting into the wind. You've just got a bigger sail, if you will, the surface area of that rod is larger and it's just harder to cast into a heavy wind. But with all that said, the biggest con to using a longer fly rod is swing weight. Once you add that extra material, the swing weight starts to add up. So you can have a rod that's an 11 foot three weight that actually has more swing weight than a traditional eight weight rod. 
And as a guy who really loves light rods, that is a huge downside and perhaps the absolute biggest reason not to go with a long rod. Now, there are also some other things to consider as you go up in rod length. These are not necessarily good or bad, but more of a personal preference. And the first is longer rods, all else being equal, will have a softer flex. There's more mass, it's a longer lever. You will have a softer rod as you go up in length. Now again, a lot of rod manufacturers will compensate by adjusting that action, but if they don't do that specifically, you're gonna have a softer rod. And a great example is the Winston Pure Series. They make three and four weights starting at about seven, six, going up to 10 feet. And if you've cast that entire range of rods like I have, you can almost dial in your action based on rod length. If you want a super slow rod, go with a nine footer. If you want a really crisp, quick rod, that's gonna be like that seven, six, four weight. Up next is wider loops. If you have a longer rod, you're gonna be casting wider loops by and large. While you're probably thinking that's definitely a con, it's not necessarily a con. There are times when wider loops are actually useful. Big heavy nymph rigs, streamers, and pretty much any situation where extreme accuracy or punching into the wind isn't what you're looking for. And last but not least, we've talked about that longer lever, but an additional benefit of that longer lever is that you're raising your fly line higher off the water. And I like to think that that's useful, especially for guys who are float tube fishing or kayak fishing. You just wanna get more line off the water to make your back cast easier. And a corollary of that is that the shorter rod will have less of a lever, which means that they're gonna be better at fighting fish. So you're gonna just get more fish fighting power out of that shorter rod. You're gonna get that power into the butt section much faster and more efficiently. So after hearing all that, you're probably wondering, how do you choose? And the reality is, is you're gonna to have to examine your specific fishing situation and determine which rod length is gonna be best. Again, like we said at the beginning, if you're a beginner or if you're not really sure, a nine foot rod is gonna be the best choice for you. Now let's take some examples of where a nine foot rod might not be the best choice. Take fishing dry flies on a spring creek. You're gonna want super accurate casts at shorter distances. And that's where a shorter rod is gonna be a really great tool for you. Say something like an eight and a half foot four weight or an eight foot four weight. Another example might be fishing for snook in mangroves. While most people are likely fishing that with a nine foot eight weight, you could actually make the case for a much shorter rod, an eight six eight weight, an eight three eight weight, and you're going to be making blind casts all day long. So getting that lighter swing weight is gonna be super helpful. And in addition to that, because snook like to wrap your line around those mangrove roots, you're gonna to wanna to use that added fighting power to get them out much faster. And last but not least, what about steelheading? You're often fishing these bushy creeks with very little room to back cast. So choosing something like a 10 foot rod that's much easier to roll cast is gonna be a better choice for steelheading than your standard nine foot rod. As always, if you still have questions about getting the right rod length, you can always give us a call at Trident Fly Fishing at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. We have got a team of experts waiting to help you out. And for our next installment on how to choose a fly rod, we're gonna be going over action. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.